All right. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at using this media, the marker, to create pointillism. So we're going to look at both the wrong way and the right way to use this media to achieve that goal. So the wrong way. We'll start with the wrong way because I like it when the right way is the last thing you hear. So the wrong way is going to be to be slamming the marker down really hard um, because when you do it like that, you end up with these dash marks instead of the dots. Also, you end up with things that are different sizes. You get outside your lines. And also, it tears the markers up in a big way. Like, it'll flatten the tips out, and they stop working, and then I have to throw them away, and then when I have to throw them away, we don't have markers to do cool stuff. So, wrong way is to do it really hard. Um, when you're using a marker to do this type of technique, I definitely should not be able to hear your marker tapping against the table. You shouldn't even really be able to hear your marker tapping against the table. Now let's take a look at the right way to do this. So we got our marker. So for the right way, we want to keep the marker as straight up and down as we can. And then we're not even really tapping, we're not pressing down, we're just touching. We're not tapping, we're touching. And where we touch, it'll make a nice little dot. Now with this, you've got to make sure that you are totally filling whatever shape you are working on. The water for this piece is normally what takes the longest. But we want to just fill it in really evenly. The closer you put your dots together, the darker your color will be. The further you split, spread the dots out, the lighter your value will be. But again, not tapping. We can't hear it. We're just touching the paper. We're not tapping against it. We're not slamming it down. We're just touching it ever so gently. And that'll leave us perfectly even. We can even go in with, you know, more than one color. So I wanted a little it to be a little bit more reddish on the bottom. But then I want it to be more blue at the top. And because of the way pointillism works, our eyes will kind of mix those colors together for us. But there we have it. The right way, or the wrong way, sorry, the wrong way to use this media to create pointillism and the right way to use this media to create pointillism. Thank you for watching and happy arting.